All right, so the motor is on, the E-Hub motor. It's actually set up to the exact same chain that I had. I put on the chains on both sides and aligned it. I uh, actually bore out or whatever. I made holes on the existing tensioners that were here to utilize them to center the wheel. And uh, I could probably use a couple more degrees, but the wheel is tilted, so I'll have to check that with the level. But um, yeah, now I gotta figure a spot out for the controller. Maybe a Mickey Mouse it and zip tie it in for the time being. And see how it fully feels with the electric and the gas. And uh, FYI, yeah, some of you may have noticed my pipe is just kind of there. Uh, so far right now, I've just got this all janked up. It works <laughs> for what uh, it needs to do. And yeah, that's just how the uh, exhaust is gonna stay for a bit. First, what I think I'm gonna do is try to get these uh, kind of bundled up. I know you want to let them breathe, but uh, since they're going to be exposed, I want to go ahead and put some tape and cover them up a bit. That way, one, they look nice, and then two, they're protected to a degree. I'm going to flip this bracket the other way around. I'm not going to take it all apart. It has 63 volt caps. Thirty-five amp fuse. But yeah, I got these guys all tidied up. Everything is nice and wrapped. The important stuff is hanging out. So let's go ahead and see how this could fit on the fat moto. Behind this here, uh, the reason I had flipped that bracket was because I didn't want it to scratch um, anything. And I'm probably gonna flip the other one as well. The motor cable, I ended up routing it through the inside of the dropout and just temporarily have it held right there. Um, but the battery should be able to go right here somewhere. Uh, and we'll put the controller behind there. We'll go ahead and start trying to zip tie mount it somewhere. Yeah, you heard me right, zip tie mount it. <laughs> So the cable here comes down, looks good, the battery and all, you know, boom. Good spot, so it comes out on the other end, looks good down the road. Shorten this here, sitting significantly. So I discovered that the phase wires uh, don't match with the phase wires on the controller uh, with regards to the gauge and then also with the whole color scheme. So uh, the wheel spun backwards the first time I tested it. So you're gonna have to figure out if you pick up the same kit, if the wiring guide is the same. Got the controller somewhat mounted, uh, the phase wires uh, and the little connection box, junction box, whatever the it's called, and zip tied down, so it's not too bad. Uh, would be nicer if we can shorten these wires, but like I said, for right now, one zip tie is not gonna kill it. It's not gonna hurt it. And if it does, we start over and it's all right. So let me keep going at this. Out of the power cable you can barely see it because it's taped up but it comes this side 
goes over the top of the throttle, keeps going up, we will plug it in to the battery and make sure that there isn't too much cable there. I think the battery itself has a short cable, so that's a pretty good spot for it. And it might get hot because of the motor, but we'll see. We could have it like that. Bag is mounted, plugged in. I'm gonna unplug it right now, but so far, that's what we're, we are at right now. Got the brake lever in with the sensor and we're gonna now route everything and also put in the throttle. It is gonna twist the opposite way, which is gonna be kind of funny and hilarious to test, um, but it's gonna allow us to know if everything's good. Slip on the throttle. Is it gonna hit if we do this? Cool. Gotta adjust the brakes there. Bottom me now, but they're working. Backwards throttle and brake lever are installed. Going to go ahead and route this and test to make sure everything comes on. Okay, real quick before my battery dies. But we're back the next day after we have successfully mounted throttle. We have power and we have brakes now. So yeah, everything is now mounted. Hub motor is in place. I adjusted it again, tightened those uh, nuts down there. Zip tied the rest of these cables. I know that looks like a rat's nest, but we'll have to figure something out. Maybe change out those connectors into one single uh, big connector and then Tesla tape it. Uh, so just to give you guys a little preview of the bike, let's go ahead and turn it on and do its infamous lean here. Oh, there it is, it's alive. That's probably not good for the motor, so I'm not gonna do that often, but uh, yeah, it runs, it works. So let me go ahead and take it out for a quick spin, check out uh, how it feels, any other little things from it, but I think we're pretty much there. Get it started. Two thousand years later. So we are in action. It is on. We're gonna see what this can do. 